If you're still using Skype, this is your official one month warning. Microsoft sent out emails saying Skype is officially shutting down on May 5th to remind everyone that Skype is getting the boot. They're pushing everyone's Microsoft team, which, let's be honest, still raises some questions, but now with meetings, calendars, and communities. If you got the email and you're wondering how to move your contacts, chats, and settings over to Teams, here's a quick guide. If you don't have this simple option, you can try this other method where you can download the Microsoft Teams package. If you're using Windows or Mac, it's the same process. You download it and you install and use all the necessary permissions. If you're giving administrator privileges, you do the same. Open the Microsoft Teams panel. With the Microsoft Teams panel, you have to sign in with your email, not the Outlook email that may be it for you. You sign in with your email, you include your password, and you sign in. The Teams panel opens up immediately and on the Teams page, you can see Welcome to Microsoft Teams. You can see your information and you sign in. When you sign in, you may not see all your information immediately, but you can change over to the Teams Insider program to access your information. You choose and get access to that Teams Insider program. You allow Teams to restart. And once Teams restarts, it restarts with your Skype credentials. So you can see your Skype credentials and you log in with your first name and your last name. Then you can see access to all your chats. When you see the URL all set, you can definitely test it out and see that if you send a message here on Microsoft Teams, you also receive that same message on Skype. So if you have any question, you can definitely ask. And in the link is a more detailed breakdown. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.